Good evening. Last month, Albuquerque police and federal agents raided a North Valley business, which they believe was the headquarters of a sex for sale business. Tonight, there's new information about how they made their case. News 13's Annie McCormick, who broke the story, has court documents that tell about a party officers arranged that led to those arrests. For nearly a month, 47-year-old Bobby McMullen has been in jail. McMullen is accused of running Private Ice, an escort service that sells sex. Details have emerged from newly released court documents about how the sting went down and exactly how Albuquerque police arranged to do business with McMullen and a group of his escorts in an Albuquerque hotel. Tuesday, May 13th, an undercover cop placed a call to Private Ice. He said he wanted to hire four or five girls for a girl-on-girl -girl lesbian show. The officer told McMullen that lesbian show was for his younger brother, who was going to be redeployed back to Iraq for a year. McMullen said he had four girls. The price, 250 bucks per girl for one and a half hours. But if there was more money, they would stay all night. He said he would bring his star performer, Tia, also known as Darlene Romero, and McMullen's girlfriend. We're not doing anything. We were just going to go dance, so we didn't do anything illegal. Also listed in the complaint, three more girls, including Kathleen Nelson, known as Isis, the same woman who acted as a police informant. The girls changed into lingerie as McMullen brought in music. The court documents detail how McMullen and a bodyguard came in armed with weapons in a fanny pack. At one point, both men compared their weapons in the corner. And that's where the criminal complaint says the party quickly ended, and a group of cops outside of the room stormed in and began arresting people. In the following days, Romero and Hoppy would be formally charged with running the lower-end prostitution business. Today, all three appeared in court with reduced bonds, and the assistant district attorney says they will face more charges, including money laundering and sex crimes. We believe that Mr. McMullen is a serious criminal and his co-defendants are, are, are serious criminals as well. In Albuquerque, Annie McCormick, CareQE News 13. Even though the judge reduced their bonds, McMullen, Romero, and the third suspect, Gary Hoppe, all remain jailed tonight.